that's going to have a significant impact over the long haul. Most people, they just want to jump right to the speed work because they know that that's going to make them faster, quicker. And as every high school track coach in the country knows, interval training is the fastest way to fitness. But it has severe limitations for extending the life of that performance for a long time because you'll hit a premature peak and then you won't get any faster. The most significant impact on your performance from year to year comes from the bottom of that pyramid and raising the peak of that pyramid by focusing on the base and pushing the peak up by focusing on the base of the pyramid. Does that make sense? And what do I have up there? Oh yeah, all the, the physiological variables that result from doing a lot of mileage. So increase in capillaries, so perfusion of muscle fiber, the increase in mitochondria, increase in the enzyme. All of that is very responsive to the volume of work done. And so it means going out and laying the miles. So when people ask me, what's the first strategy to get faster? Run more. It really is that simple. It's complex, but it really is that simple. Run more. But be systematic about how you run more. There was a question that I missed. Oh, did I get your question? No. You want to ask it now? No. No? Sport. Well, yeah, when you're training for traveling, you've got three, basically, three aerobic bases that you're trying to improve. And there's more equivalency, if you will, between the cycling and the running, and the swim, swimming a whole different animal. But even going from cycling, they're still different animals, too. So you have to work on the base for all three. Last question number five. Refuel immediately, maximize recovery. All the adaptations to training happen when you're not training. They happen during recovery. So you have to take the recovery just as seriously as you take the training. Because that's when all the magic happens. The two most important nutrients to consume during recovery, carbohydrate and protein. Carbohydrates replace the limited store of carbohydrate that you have in the muscles so that you can use it for the next workout. And then protein to rebuild the damaged tissue and to make Whatever it is you're trying to make, new enzymes, new mitochondria, new capillaries, it's all protein synthesis. So you need to consume protein to make these new structures. 